Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome to the next episode of Will It Run on the SNES Classic. So today um, we have a request by for Jackino or Street Fighter 3. He didn't specify which one, so we're going to try Street Fighter 3 Third Strike because I think that is the newest version. Alright, so first thing we got to do is we have to add the game. So we're going to go to add more games. Here we are, Street Fighter 3. 3N. This is the version you want to use. Um, it's actually the Japanese version. Um, if you go to MU Paradise, um, you can find a ton of main ROMs, a bunch of ROMs all together. But that's that's a good source for getting your main you know ROMs, your arcade ROMs. You're gonna look for the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Japanese No CD. I have tried many, many, many of these versions of the game you want the Japanese no CD version so it's gonna look like this SF33N for the select file you just hit import as archive it'll process the game and then it's gonna add it next we need to go to modules install extra modules you're gonna have this box come up except without the alphas and everything so to install your modules that came with HackG you're gonna open up your cores folder in your Hackchi folder. So it's going to look, you have your course folder, Hackchi, this is your main folder, go back, and then you're going to have your H mods. You want FB Alpha, FB Alpha CPS2, and RetroArc. Then it's just dragging them over, and it'll add them like this. You want to make sure all three are checked, then you're going to hit OK. It's going to say make sure the power button is off. You're going to hold reset while you turn the power button on. This box is going to go away. Then you're going to have this install box turn green. I've already done that step, so we're not going to do it again. But once that turns green, you're ready to go. We're going to cancel that because we already did it. So now we have our game. We have our modules installed. Let's get some box art. So we're going to change the the name so the right box art comes up three third strike all right so we have the correct name let's google some box art ps2 version online edition online edition whichever one you want really we can do this one looks pretty good we'll use that one last thing you have to do when installing these modules Depending on which core you're using, you have to change the command line. If you're using Final Burn Alpha, which is the most compatible for, for most of the games, it says here what you have to change the command line to with the different argument. FBA is what we want to change it to. So back out, highlight the game, here's our command line. Right now we have the zip because that was the original name of the file. When you change it to FBA, it's going to tell the SNES Classic to run that core when you go to open that game. So now we have our command line changed, we have our game, we have our modules added, it is time to synchronize the games to the Classic. To do that, you just turn it on. There you go. Once it connects, it'll go right through. And you'll see I've taken off the original games. Um, this RetroArch right here, uh, that's just a clove wrap you can find on Cluster's GitHub to make it so you can access RetroArch right from the main menu instead of going into the game, trying to go into the menu. That enables you to go to it. That, I guess you can, it's helpful. I just have it there so I have something else on the screen besides the game. So now our game has been synchronized to the SNES Classic and we are ready to try it out. So one more time, get the correct version of the game. That's actually the biggest thing. Find the game that works. Especially with Street Fighter 3, this was a huge, huge, this took forever to find the right one that worked. Japanese, no CD. Make sure you have the no CD or else this will not work. Get the game, install the modules, sync the game. All right, let's head over to the SNES Classic and see how this works. Okay, here we are back at the SNES Classic. So we have the RetroArch thing that I installed. No, we don't want the demo, thank you. Um, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. 
So everything should go ding, go ding. Everything should go according to plan once we load this up. Should open up with final burn alpha, no issues. Hopefully. We'll see. Sometimes it takes a minute. So you got ah, there we go. Once you get something coming up, you're, you're it's pretty, you know, it's it's almost a sure thing that you're that you're gonna go. So then you hit select. Got to input those quarters. All the, all the credits. Street Fighter Three Third Strike. Okay. Look at all these guys. I kind of like Ken. He's usually my go-to guy for a Street Fighter. What else? Or Ryu. I actually played this a little bit in the arcade a long time ago. Long time ago. Uh, so we'll go with Ken. Of course, it's a Japanese ROM, so the moves are going to be in Japanese. But at least you still have the, you know, what you call it, the, uh, the little symbols down there to let you know which super move that you're using. I guess we'll do that one. Twelve. It's been a while since I played this. Oh, X copy. All right, he's going to use X copy. We're going to use a kicking move. So it looks like it's running pretty well. I don't see any slowdown. This 12 guy is pretty cool looking. All right, hey, we got a perfect match. Look at that. First match, perfect. And we got a super meter. Let's see what super we picked. One that didn't connect. Oh, what was he doing? I don't know. Oh, no, perfect this time. Fly. I didn't know that. Let's get him this time. There we go. All right, that's the one I actually wanted, so good. And we got the. No, we didn't get it that time. Oh well. Maybe we can finish with a nice, nice smack you on the ground. All right, so there you go. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. It runs on the SNES Classic. So make sure you get that Japanese no CD version. If you guys have any other requests, recommendation, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. You can send them to my email, whatever you want. It's all available to you. So once again, um, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter at Pat and Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.